Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. So, today I'm actually going to be talking about a topic that has to do with work and labor. Um, in, the U in the United States, there it becomes kind of a complicated thing. Um, so a lot of the time when it's like, well, any industry, a lot of bosses have a tendency to make sure they abide by all the laws, but kind of loop through so they can do it more easily, um, with, without impacting the employees in any kind of way. Uh, they will sometimes take the hours end uh, uh, of their employees and minimize some of them at times and then like like, like and uh, others at other times to the point where it at least balances out the labor. Now in short, for those who don't know what that is, uh, labor is basically the amount of hours uh, an employer um, has their employees work uh, and it's in a long haul, it's kind of cumulative of all the employees. Labor can sometimes get too high, sometimes too low. In which case, when it gets too high, he's working. He or she has too many hours directed towards them to the point where it's going to be very difficult to create a proper pay. Whereas it could affect the employer's paycheck themselves at times. Whereas when it's too low, they'll usually call in more people and more people will get more hours than their original intent was. But that being said, um, there are times where labor will be too high and the employer will try to balance it out. However, when the employer leaves, other people will just start coming in and hour after hour. They'll, they'll do extra hours without any kind of consent. And this becomes a major problem, especially when it's unpermitted. A lot of the time nowadays, this is how most people end up getting more hours in the U.S. than originally presented. It's not like permitted or anything, they just do it. They just show up and say, I'm here, like, make me work. Um, but the issue with this is more the factor that it consent. It, it's simple as that. When you don't have consent from like the GM or the store manager or depending on where you're talking about, it could have a different name. General manager, store manager, um, sometimes it can go as far as area, man, regional manager, area manager, it really depends. But when it's without reaching out to that individual and keeping them informed, it can cause major in issues on that one individual. Now the law itself isn't particularly against this act. In the U.S., there's nothing in the U.S. laws that say you can't do this. However, in the process of doing so, it's more of a moral thing. When you go off and try to get more hours to benefit yourself, sometimes you'll have the knowledge that it's screwing up labor. If you are aware of this and you do it anyway, you might be benefiting yourself in the moment, but one, you're actually screwing with everyone else who works there's hours. Two, you might be screwing over the manager who's on shift at the moment, depending on where you're from. And three, in the sometimes distant, sometimes not long haul, you actually are screwing yourself over. It could either be because in the long haul, you're actually screwing over the store's manager, and it'll lead you into a very bad predicament. Or, 
you would be screwing over the company in general to the point where, yes, by law they have to pay you, but hypothetically, say they, this constantly happens and it gets to a point where they physically, literally can't pay you because you've taken so much of it from them. It leads to really bad outcomes on that front. Now, this is like a worst case scenario that's very, very, very unlikely to happen. But it is one nonetheless. And quite frankly, this kind of action is just a ginormous action of disrespect. You're showing disrespect towards a company that was generous enough to hire you. Now, there are some companies I'm aware out there who are just D-bags who don't care. Who, like Walmart. They're notorious for being the retail version of McDonald's, which is notorious for having extremely bad employment, not caring about their employees a lot of the time, and just wanting to get things done, whatever the cost. Now, those are some exceptions. But when your company is like the opposite, and they're actually providing, they're listening, they're trying to do what they can to help, and they request for a short period of time to make sure that they're able to provide to shorten the hours for a very short period of time and you refuse to do it, that's a sign of major disrespect. That's basically you going, I don't care what you think, yeah you hired me, I don't care what you think though. That's basically what that's saying. I will do whatever I want. I mean, I guess if you were a manager, there'd be a loophole to this because a lot of managers at stores, because of the nature of their jobs, they have to stay longer to oversee to make sure everything is taken care of properly. However, a generic employee, no, absolutely no. If you're a generic employee, and you're trying to extend your hours, you're not, you're not considering all the other details if you're doing it and just saying, it's like, a good example is this. I'm not going to name names at all. There is a reason I'm talking about this. And it's exactly what I'm about to explain. I'm going to be very discreet and I'm not going to name any names at all, just for the sake of confidentiality. However, at work today, um, I was nearing the end of my shift, and my boss had throughout the day requested others to take breaks, wait to clock in, um, and some of them would clock, were requested to clock out early. Now, I wasn't per se requested to clock out early, I was requested a break, but that's labor. Labor was high because of this, so I understood. I understood completely. Uh, the way I looked at it is like, you know what? He's been doing what he can for me, my boss has, and it's not that much to ask to return the favor by leaving, but by taking a 30 minute break and then leaving little bit before originally scheduled. Um, but because of this factor, uh, that's exactly what I did. However, nearing the end of my shift, it was about, actually it was like two and a half hours before the end of the shift, I think. Was it? Three and a half hours, not two, three and a half hours. Three and a half hours before the end of my shift, um, one of my coworkers showed up, who wasn't supposed to be scheduled until the end of my shift. She was supposed to be my replacement. Um, and she clocks in. I approach her later on, just letting her know, hey, our boss is trying to make sure labor is taken care of. It is pretty high right now. He might get upset if you if he finds out that you clocked in early and stayed longer than everyone else, 
Manager approaches, uh, the manager of the night shift approaches me and says, no, he let me know that uh, she was good to clock in whenever she got here. I, I said, okay. I go to take out the trash because a trash run was needed. It was, it was definitely needed. And I come back, and just to reiterate, I say, look, I'm not trying to cause any problems. I'm just trying to let you know what's going on. And I reiterate the details a little bit, just to explain, look, labor is in a pretty bad place right now. I just don't want anyone getting in trouble. And the response from that is what kind of triggered this idea to talk about this in the first place. This employee's response was, these weren't the exact words, but it was the basic thing of what was being said. I'll come in when I want, and I will leave when I want. In my mind, that's showing unethical disrespect towards the company that hired you. Now bear in mind that to, to be, it, the only defense I can really think of off the bat is the fact that this particular individual does not like the work job at all. Some people she liked working with, but the environment, if you were to exclude all individuals and just consider the environment alone, she would hate it. Now, I have no hate for this person, bear in mind. I actually do like working with her. But I do find it very unfair towards our boss that she would just go and say, I'm doing this whenever I want. And I find it unfair to the employees who are trying to respect the boss and making sure that they can, you know, keep the trust, make sure labor's in the right place, all that kind of stuff. And it's unfair to those employees who the boss says, can you leave early or can you take a break? And they're like, yeah, it's unfair to all them. And it's unfair to the managers due to the fact that it actually kind of messes with them. For example, this individual, that I, I wouldn't be surprised, I'm not saying this is the case, and it probably isn't, for all I know. It, maybe it is, maybe it's not. I'm not going to claim anything. But under the circumstance and under the mindset that was going on, I wouldn't be surprised if when the manager on shift at the moment told me that Theron had said that she could clock him whenever, I wouldn't be surprised if to her, this particular manager, her clocking in three and a half hours early counted. I think what our store manager was thinking was when she gets here at the around the time she's supposed to clock in she can clock in i don't think he was expecting three and a half hours early i mean it's not something that can be afforded either now bear in mind i am also keeping in mind that what she is doing is technically not illegal in any kind of way however it's very unethical. It's very disrespectful. By law, if she were to clock in early and a manager permitted it, which is exactly what happened, then it is allowed. It's okay. She's not going against anything. This particular employee is not breaking any kind of contract or any kind of law by doing so. However, she is basically giving a giant finger to all of those who um, the store manager had. She's basically giving a giant finger to the store manager by doing this. At least this is how I see it. This is also, bear in mind, the store manager I'm referring to is somebody I have actually worked with in the past. I'm trying to point the right direction. Kind of glad I can see myself over here. Um, but 
this store manager is someone that I have worked with in the past. Um, so I kind of know how they work mentally, how they think, and you know, the, the, the different circumstances that have, they've gone through work-wise. Um, I actually do trust him, and I do trust that whatever needs to be done will get done. Um, in fact, a good example of this, as a side note to give what I'm talking about, is that there was another circumstance, um, which was a lot less detailed, where somebody wanted to do something that they, they wanted to go to the store and get something mid-shift, not during the break, not after the shift, mid-shift, and this was not okay. It was, I was actually going to approach this particular manager the next day, but he found out earlier on and he actually approached me. We had a generic calming conversation about it and everything went fine. Uh, he pointed out some details, like the fact that I actually was um, on the phone talking about it and that just the person I was talking to told someone else who ended up telling him. Um, it, the fact that I was on the phone, he was like, you really shouldn't be unless you're getting a hold of like a manager, whether it's him, this store manager or someone else. Unless it's a manager, phones are a no-go, which I understand. It's just, I was technically talking to a coworker about the circumstance, and I was only talking about that information alone. Anyway, I digress. My point of that is just this, manager, this store manager I actually do trust a lot, which is not something I've said about a lot of the store, uh, a lot of store managers that I've had in the past. I've said it of like seven jobs I've had, I've said it about three. Yeah, that's it. But, back to the topic at hand, because of the fact that I do trust him, and I, I do believe whatever he's aiming towards is more to benefit the company and allow us to keep going as a business, rather than allowing everyone to go forward with what they got. Because if that happened, it could screw the company over. I'm also looking at this, I'm not just looking at this from a business, I'm looking at it from a financial standpoint, a legal standpoint, like what was discussed earlier. Labor can be a very, very big thing. And there are even laws set out for it. I actually tried doing a lot of research on it, but there were so many vague details that it was hard to understand how to decrypt it. U.S. laws, that, that's nothing new. They say things in the, like, in, in legal print, you read it, and you're like, okay, so this happens, and you keep reading it, and you're like, wait, didn't it say before that this is not the case? Then you keep reading it, and you're like, okay, no, this makes sense. Like, that's the U.S. laws. They contradict themselves several times. They're to keep a balance, but, I mean, sure, you can't have balance with both ends being supported in a way but when one support contradicts the other support it doesn't make sense that's why i started doing a tangent instead of directly talking about the law itself but like i said before under the circumstance that originally brought up this topic the coworker who decided i'm going to do what i want technically wasn't breaking the law but was being very very disrespectful towards the person who gave her the amount of hours that she had in the first place. Now, to give an example, just so you guys know I'm not being very selective in any kind of way, I'm going to use another woman as an example. Someone who um, actually had kind of the same predicament, um, who actually worked the, a closer shift than I did. Now, bear, keep in mind, I've also worked shifts, full shifts, with both individuals. Um, this other individual, she worked a full shift, and she was actually asked to leave earlier, asked to come in later. The only thing she wasn't asked to do was take a break, but that's just because of the amount of hours she had. On a legal standpoint, it wasn't required. 
However, like I said, she left when she was asked to, she came in when she was asked to. Her scheduled time, she came in around there and she was still asked to come in a little later, so she did. That's respectful. It's sure, technically she didn't have to. She could have said, no, the schedule says this, by law I don't have to, I'm gonna clock in now. And the manager, yeah. The manager would have to say, okay. But she didn't. Whereas this other individual did. I personally tried to explain, look, you could be screwing everyone over by this, and she, was, she gave the same response. Again, to reiterate, the response basically was, I'll come in when I want to, and I will leave when I want to. Now, maybe it's just the fact that the person I'm referring to is 18 years old. I doubt it, because the person I was comparing her to, 15 years old which is the earliest where I live you can actually work. It's the earliest age, that or 14, it's one or the other. It depends on where you're um, applying to as well. Now, I think it's 15 though. Still, so the age thing is irrelevant. Technically, the 18 year old should be more mature, but it's kind of sad how a 15-year-old was more mature than an 18-year-old. The 15-year-old abided by everything, showing perfect respect towards not only the boss who requested it, but towards the company that she worked for. Whereas this alternative person, she acted like she didn't care. Like, Anything could ram her and she'd punch him back. Or someone could just be walking by and she'd slug him on the side and go. <whistles> now this is an over-exaggerated version of what I'm trying to get across, but you get the point. Basically, the idea is where is one person, the 15, where the 15 year old was like, you know what, I know it's less, but I bet it's for a good reason. I will accept it and move on. The other, if it doesn't benefit her, then, yeah, she's not going to listen. And this is not okay. Realistically, now that I think about it, there is actually another um, male employee who has actually done the same thing. The worst part, though, is that this male employee is a manager. So it makes it worse on him. But the reason I didn't bring that one up, it's not because of any kind of hate towards any particular type of group of individuals. It's just that this particular topic that I'm talking about happened an hour and a half ago. Well, it technically happened three, four and a half hours ago, but I just got home from work about an hour ago. So... Given that the other alternative event did not happen today, it did not come to my mind first. But the event that did happen today, which is the one I explained, well did. In fact, this is something that, by the time you guys see this video, I would have already talked to my boss about this and say, look, I probably would have already said, look, this is disrespectful and it's not okay. The labor laws if one side is going to respect them, the other side has to do the same thing. And there's more to these laws than just simply, oh, oh, we're reaching the high point, I won't be able to, we, we need to send people home. I mean, this is what every company does. Understandably so. If you're going to work for a company, you have to expect that. Oh, oh, we're hitting this point. We can't afford blank, blank, blankety, blank. You have to do blank, blank, blankety, blank instead. Respect it. And this is not, this is not, this description is, it's not a list describing a company trying to avoid the labor laws in any kind of way. It's not. In fact, I read through those laws a couple times. I started to get it so I can get kind of a vague idea of what I'm talking about. It's more them trying to abide by it. 
but trying to do so for tens of employees. In the case, if it was something, if it was a company like Amazon or Google, it'd be for like hundreds of uh, thousands of employees. There's only so much they can do before they have to like give certain individuals certain. There's there's reason. There are reasons co certain companies out there say, okay, you're allowed to take this many days off, this many blank off. It's because of that law. If they didn't do that, then that law, it's not that the law would be broken, is that it, it would be impossible to follow. In the case of industries like what I work for, fast food, um, the only way that an employer can abide by that law is by sometimes shortening people's hours and asking others to take breaks or go home earlier, clock in later. It's not that hard to really request and abide by. But like I said before, this kind of thing goes both ways. And sure, what is going on and what I've been describing, like I said before, is not breaking a law at all, but it is very, very disrespectful. And quite frankly, very greedy. There was a point in time where I talked about the seven deadly sins. This pretty much collides with that. The one of greed. Because all you're focusing on is the money. You don't actually want to be there. You're just there for the money. That's it. That's what you make it lay out to be. When you act this way, when you respond the way that this employee did, that's what you're showcasing. You're showcasing greed and disrespect. And one last time, like I said, this is not okay. It's a bad morale. But this is personal opinion. I don't know. Maybe you guys think differently than I do. As far as labor, dis like disrespect or respect towards labor goes, I don't know. What are your guys' opinion? Let us know in the comments below. I should probably pick up the tool. I need to stop this video. Um... Do you guys have any suggestions on what you would like talked about on here? I feel like I'm going to hiccup. up. Let us know in the comments below. Want to check out any other discussion and rants? Because this, that's, this is probably the longest rant I've ever done. But if you have any um, ideas for any discussion and rants, click, let us know down there as well. Click link on this side for any others that we've done prior to this. Or the link on this side will give you something that you may enjoy a bit more if this wasn't quite floating your boat. However, if it wasn't and you've stayed to this point, well, big thank you. Uh, but big thank you to all those who stuck around to the end of this video as well, and you actually enjoyed it. But yeah, I'm gonna head off. Thanks for tuning into this video, guys, and we hope to see you all in another. Catch you guys later.